It's time to take five for safety. It's time for another episode of Let's Not Die Today on the Toolbox Talk Show Network. Hey folks, do me a favor, click on that like or subscribe button wherever you get your podcast, And don't forget about our friends over at 7Taps. They make microlearning easy. Go to 7Taps.com, get the free community version if you love it, and you will get the pro version. But before you buy, go to ToolboxTalkShow.com backslash training and get all the bonuses we have for you. Our topic today, it's another short, Stop Work Authority. Stop Work Authority is something every organization should implement and every employee should know how to use. In today's episode, we will discuss what Stop Work Authority is and give real-world examples of when to use it. Let's start with definitions. Stop Work Authority is the authority to halt unsafe work activities. It's not just for managers and supervisors. Everyone in the organization has the right and the duty to stop unsafe work activities if they see something that could cause injury or property damage. In other words, if anyone recognizes an unsafe situation, all they have to do is say stop. This is also known as an authority to suspend work or right to stop work order. It's a vital part of your safety culture. So when should you stop work authority? A stop work order should be used when there is a risk of injury or death. Here are some real-world examples of when you should use stop work authority and the actions that should follow. Situation 1. A fellow employee is not wearing PPE, and he or she is about to use a grinder. Action. Stop work and provide appropriate PPE. Situation number 2. As a driver, you arrive at a job site but are unsure where it would be safe to unload. Action, stop work, get out, and perform a 360 walk around. Situation three, a ladder is damaged and you notice it has not been taken out of service and or someone is about to use it. Action, stop work, notify the other employee, and immediately tag out of service. Situation four, an employee begins operating equipment and does not use a seatbelt or harness where required. Action, stop work, and remind your coworker that this has been the cause of many worker fatalities. Situation number five, an employee picks up a heavy item and begins lifting it with their back instead of their legs. Action, stop work, and gently remind them that their legs are far stronger than their back and to always lift items using proper lifting techniques. Situation number six. An employee moves equipment around a blind corner without a spotter. Action, stop work, and help your fellow employee out by acting as a spotter. Situation 7, you notice an improperly secured load. Action, stop work, and see if you can help. Only proceed once all are in agreement that the load is secure. Pause here and ask coworkers for other examples and discuss the appropriate actions that should follow. In conclusion, Stop work authority is the power to halt unsafe work activities when there is a risk to workers or the workplace. It is a way to ensure everyone's safety. Remember, when you think, I shouldn't tell someone what to do, or I'm sure they know what they're doing, or who am I to tell them to stop? You could be saving their life by speaking up. You have the authority, now use it. Following these tips can save you from accidents, injuries, and even death. Thanks for listening to another episode of Let's Not Die Today. If you'd like free PDF versions of all our talks, scroll down about halfway on our homepage and sign up for our mailing list. As always, you can find us on Apple Podcasts, Spotify, and YouTube. If you love what we do, please subscribe uh, and tell your employer about us. We'll love you for it. See you next time.